hi to Chaco. Gurani against Akatsuki. Gurani here at the south in the red. Going for double Night Elf. Oh, no humans. Two Night Elves. Here, of course, for Akatsuki, we have one of each race. Is someone playing a weird race? Let's see. Remind. Chimiko's playing Night Elf. Okay. Well, Light is also playing Night Elf. Sock is playing Undead. What? Sawin is playing Orc. Okay. Sock is playing... Okay, they don't want any humans in their teams. Even though they have two human players. They're playing Night Elf and Undead. Here, the other side, we have uh, Focus. He's just playing his main race. Remind playing his main race. Reprisal playing his main race. Lucifer playing his main race. Who's gonna win this game? I have no idea, but we will see, of course. We will see one of these teams completely decimate the other one. Or maybe it's gonna be a close game. That's, of course, possible as well. Or maybe it's gonna be a uh, beautiful game. Players forces under attack. This Wisp is still alive. The, uh, the Fiend, though, does a bit of damage to the Wisp. The Wisp, what this is gonna do? Takes so much damage from the Fiend. Meanwhile, we have Archmage creeping over here because. Archmages are so good at creeping in this game. So that's what the Archmage does. He creeps. What is this? A wisp? Okay, what is this? A TC with the grunt. What is this? Uh, Priestess of the Moon for Chemiko, of course. And a TC here for Serene. And what do we have here? A Keeper of the Growth. Okay, that's an interesting choice here. By uh, the Loliat. By Loliat. A Keeper finds a footman there. Does he entangle it or does he uh, ignore it? Go for something else. Yeah, he ignores it for now. What's Lucifer doing? Lucifer creeping over here. Here comes Tamiko and Loliath. I mean, there they go at least. The skeleton, the skeleton is going down. So the loser of this match is out. Yes. Yes. Only one team can go on. And the loser is out of the tournament. Out of the 4 vs 4 Ugri tournament. This footman is so slow. And there's a nice entangle on the footman. The Priest of the Moon shooting footman. Okay, he kills a footman. Nice kill on the footman. Keeper attacks a footman. And the keeper. Oh, be careful, Mr. Keeper. And he is careful. But how careful is he really? Oh, he gets coiled. He's still being careful. Over here, we have a Priest of the Moon harassing the grunts, by the way. So Wien's grunts are being harassed. And uh, here we have Sock creeping. Priest of the Moon just hopping hopping back to to safety. This Huntress as well, just hopping around. Wow. There's a Wisp in the tree, of course. And the Priestess of the Moon shoots the skeleton once. And over here we have a Priestess of the Moon fighting against two grunts. Uh, so Wien building a second barracks here. TC is doing great. I'm not sure if he got Stomp or Shockwave. TC is creeping over here. Oh, nice her bother at the TC. There she shoots. Uh, she shoots at the footman. She shoots again on the, at the footman. Uh, the Night Elves, by the way, are they both massing tier one? I think they're feeding. I think they're just feeding. They just have. Uh, oh no, they have a second Angel of War there. I see. They're probably massing tier one then. Mass hunters. For a second, I thought they were doing an interesting in uh, strategy. Instead, they're just doing a boring strategy. I figured, like, <laughs> imagine if two players feed one player. Imagine if Sock got fat so much that he uh, he became overweight. A player's force is nice and tangled there on the footman. The hunters is taking care of this one footman. It dies. We have uh, huntresses fighting against huntresses. The two huntresses win against the three huntresses. The three huntresses retreat. But they were just they're fighting now three against one, and here we have a one-on-one -on -one fight. What is this? Grunts. They're healing. The TC is level three now for uh, focus. I'm pretty sure he has shockwave. Two claws of attack is not great on TC. We'll give it to a different hero once he has a chance. Uh, he he went shockwave last time, so I feel like we see shockwave again this game. And what do we have for Serene? Do we have Stomp? He is getting Creepjack. There's a Shockwave. A few grunts dying there. Use the Speed Skull, but didn't use it to get out of this situation. This TC, where is it going? There's an attack here. Lose first trying to defend here with his level 2 Death Knight. The Archmage over here is also level 2. 
Uh, but the Scroll of the Beast is such a super powerful item here. Sock used it and all the Huntresses. I mean, there's not that many Huntresses. So we know what some Huntress is going to defend this base. Well, uh, okay, here, the Keeper with the Huntress is going to this base. Going to harass Reprisal's base. TP out for someone. And uh, Coil there on the Fiend. These Huntress is so low. One dies. The other one also dies. Nice job here by Team Lucifer. Meanwhile, over here. Surround on the TC. Oh my god. So wins TC. TP's out. Because he doesn't have Stomp. Still haven't seen the Bacasa spell. He had 90 mana. And I mean, I guess he could have Stomped. But maybe he'd rather just save his mana for when it's useful. Save it for a useful Stomp. Even oh, the uh, Lich! Death Knight does have a coil, but he's too far away. The Lich is just dead. Nice Nova here kills the fiend, uh, kills a hunters. I mean, Priest of the Moon is level two, and this just died. This Keeper of Growth, They're trading beautifully. This hunters is uh, taking a lot of damage. Can he surround something? No, no, right? No. But maybe with the Keeper flank attack, this Priestess of the Moon suddenly in a bit of danger, but she has a TP. Now the Keeper's going for the hunters. Should have. Uh, Killing the Hunters is nice, but they should have gone for one of these heroes as well. Why does this guy still have the two claws of attack? Give it to the Priestess. Don't keep it on your TC. Give it to the Lich if you have a chance. The Keeper is uh, beautiful. There's definitely creeping this a little bit for Sock, but he cannot finish the creep camp. And now the creeps are killing his fiends while uh, he has to deal with two players here and three players soon. What is uh, happening over here? Why is what is Lolite going to do? He's not helping his allies. His allies have to retreat here. They, they don't have a chance. Three against four, I believe. Whoa! Ah. Is this Death Knight here? Is that? Oh my God! Nice shockwave. What's Lolite going to do? Is he going for the human base? Looks like he is going for the human base. The Death Knight comes back because he has an Ankh. He also has two claws of attack, uh, and he dies again. Oh, we have another war school here for Team uh, Team Akatsuki. Killing some fe uh, Huntresses. Doesn't look good for Team Gorana. I believe it's what they're called. Gorani. Gorani retreating. These Huntresses, I mean, they can do a little bit of damage, but I feel like Lolaya not being there. Lost them so much. The light will have to TP out here. This is a hunter's. His keepers are not surrounded, but you know. Okay, he gets out. Maybe he can pick up the slippers as well. The tower and chieftain died level four for focus. Okay, that's nice. Nice uh, play there by team Rani. Can they get the archmage as well? He has a, he has a TP in worst case scenario. Here we have focus's grunts. And uh, Lucifer's Fiends attacking this base. There's no TP for the Grunts. There's no TC. Not sure if he has Pillage or not. They both lost before, yeah. Okay, they killed the, they killed the, uh, exp uh, the base and the TP out there by Lucifer. This was Chamiko's base. And let's see who wins this fight. So win or Lucifer. Lucifer, does he have false armor? I don't think so. So this is a pretty difficult fight. But there's his ally, Focus, and he has the uh, he has the TC back, level four TC with endurance aura. Now the fiends move so fast. Their fiend does die. This fiend is in trouble. He Michael's around. Oh, here comes Huntresses, Hunters and Huntresses for both teams. These uh, fiends that don't want to die. They don't have burrow, I believe. Else we would have seen a burrow here or there. Shockwave there. And uh, a TP out by the TC. So wins TC. These two fiends saw so on hit points. And they will survive. Easy peasy. After this one. Yeah. The losing team is out, out of the tournament. They won't go to the next round. Hello Anas Bana. Welcome back. Nice Nova there. On the Priestess of the Moon. Does he get this round? No. Oh but she dies to a coil. And that was uh, Chamiko's uh, Priestess of the Moon. So oh, if he wants his priestess back, someone will have to donate him some money. Okay, there goes the Huntress. 
Oh, destroyers now for Sock. That might change, change things up. Also, so many Huntresses. This is what uh, what happens when Lolite is in the fight. The Death Knight there dies for Lucifer. The uh, Flame Strike was cancelled somehow. I'm not sure if it was just a mistake. Or a well-timed cancellation ability somehow. You have so many Hunters dying. There's a nice Flame Strike. This time it does go off. Quince here in the back even for Serene. Just trying to get in uh, in action. Uh, so many Hunters. I just keep hearing Hunters dying like... Oh, oh, oh. And there goes the Fiend as well. But he doesn't make as much noise, so Some more hunters is dying. This hunters, 125 hit points. And a TP out here by the Archmage. The Priestess of the Moon for Remind, though. She's just gonna run. She's just running. We have an expansion here, by the way, for Remind. And uh, there, ah, there goes the Priestess. Didn't she have a TP? Was I? Okay, I guess she didn't TP. This, uh, this tree is going down. And it will be four bases against four bases again. The ground's doing a lot of damage against this tree. I'm not sure if Serene has spillage. Oh. What a beautiful game. Here come the fiends. And the mortar teams. Is he tier 3? He's going to tier 3. But the mortar teams are still tier 2 mortar teams for now. The TC dies. And there's a flame strike. We have a level 5 TC for Sweden. We all know level 5 TCs are super duper powerful. Uh, actually, is this base rebuilt? Okay, it's rebuilding the base right now. And um, if this TC just had a little bit of mana. But no, they don't have a human in their in their uh, game. They don't have brilliance aura. They don't have statues either. So no mana for this TC. There are some statues. He has to go to the shop to get mana. He's still tier 1. Chamiko also tier 1 because he just rebuilt his tree. Uh, Lolai is still tier 1. <laughs> Only Sok went to Black Citadel. That is team uh, Goran Gorani. Everyone tier 1 besides one player. Here we have Focus. He says Stronghold has two APs defending him. Here we have uh, Remind. He's still tier 1. Reprisal went to Castle. And of course... Lucifer went to castle. So judging their tech trees, it does look a lot better here for the blue team. For team Akatsuki. They will have Mordars with the uh, sh uh, shell things. They will. They have the orb for the undead. And even an orc player that's tier 2. I'm not sure what is he going for. Oh yeah, he's going for the Kodo. He is going for a Kodo. So the units are going to be way more efficient than the units of Team Red. They also have better upgrades. Look at these uh, uh, Huntresses 1-1. One, one. Look at these Huntresses for Lolai 0-0. Zero, zero. Nice shockwave there. But of course the, the, the TC is level 5 for Team Red. Only level 4 here for Team Blue. There's a shockwave here. Doing a bit of damage. But the uh, healing scroll was used. I believe these destroyers are webbed. They're trying to go heavy armor units. But there's no heavy armor units anywhere. Besides in the back. The mortar teams. Do they get area? Do they, the mortar teams... Being hunted down by Huntresses and Destroyers. Some Destroyers do get uh, webbed. And so they, they can't reach the Mortar Teams. They are just, you know, the Mortar Teams are so important. He kills another one. Uh, does he kill this one? Yes, he kills it. There's one Mortar Team still alive. But that's uh, that's it. The, the Destroyers are all webbed now. They cannot really reach the last Mortar Team. There goes the Blood Mage. Is, do we have mana for Shockwave? No, no Shockwave mana. Also, uh, beautiful lineup. There's no shockwave. The script lord, by the way, is beautiful as well. He's grunts and uh, hunters is fighting. The blood mage. Another blood mage? No, the uh, priestess falls. Ah, oh, you guys hear it there. A level 4 priestess. It doesn't... Uh, it's not great if you lose all your heroes, Team Blue. But it seems like their army is still a bit stronger than Team Red. And Team Gorani. Nova. Oh, he kill, they killed another archmage. I'm not sure if Team Red lost a single hero. They killed three heroes. Uh, all of them like level 4. I think the Blood Mage was level 3. But the uh, Priestess of the Moon and the Archmage level 4. But it seems like they lost the fight anyway. They killed 3 heroes. But they lost so many units. We'll see how this game goes. But we have a Lich now with 2 claws of attack by the way. Probably uh, one of these other heroes. This TC gave it to the Lich. 
TC is almost level 6 here for Suwin. And we might try that expansion again. This TC for focus now also level 5. And um, the price of getting Master Priests now. And he's going for this creep. Which means he might go for the expansion with the Paladin. Paladin is level 1. The Archmage, okay. Team Blue, they need their heroes back, right? They need their Blood Mage back. Their Archmage. There's no Tavern on There's a Tavern on this map, okay. Um, what else died? The Blood Mage, the Archmage, and the Priestess. Once they get their heroes back, I think they should be in decent shape. A town is under siege. Look at this army, it's just... It's just Lucifer. Plus a little bit of focus. But it looks super duper, duper scary. Level 5 TC, Kodo. Level 3 Crypt Lord. I see Pill there. What's happening over here? Okay, TP dot, so we can TP dot. But this level 6 TC. Okay, well, this code is pretty important. There's only one Kodo. Adding 10% damage to everything, including the fiends. Nice impale there. These uh, hunters just take a lot of damage. And uh, this grunt goes down, destroyers in the air. Uh, this time we have more destroyers for Lucifer than for uh, Sock. Well, destroyers, they do get uh, ensnared and wrapped, etc. But uh, look at these grunts. <laughs> Minimal hit points, and they get out of the fight. TC, does he have matter for another shockwave? No, not this one. What about uh, Focus's TC? He also doesn't have mana. He still has those claws of attack that he uses here. Oh, against the Priest of the Moon. But she retreats. The Paladin just wants to kill her. Blood Mage is back, by the way. The Archmage, I still haven't seen the Archmage. Bunch of mortar teams helping out as well. The Priest of the Moon dies here for Jamiko. Oh. And... Uh, Beautiful game. The TC dies once. And he's surrounded, but don't think it, he's gonna kill him anyway. There's a shockwave. There goes the Kodo. Maybe trying to get a TC it was a mistake here for a Team Akatsuki. TC has more shockwaves. Uh. Ah. The mortar team so powerful, of course. What are the mortar teams going for next? 3-0 upgrades here on the mortar teams. Is this expansion is uh, up with two wisps in the gold mine now. Three now, of course. Three, one, two, three. Uh, with this one, uh, four and then five. Nice block here by the sheep. <laughs> so we're defending here with super low hit points and grunts. Two of them died to one shock wave. TC is back with two grunts. He's surrounded uh, by the ensnare, of course. He does not have the reincarnation. He just he just used it earlier, and he is going to die. The TC level six can actually, or does he? Yeah, he dies. There wasn't even a healing potion available. At best, he could uh, could have bought a potion of healing, uh, a, po a, a scroll of speed. The hunters just go down. There's a coil on a fiend. These uh, hunters just take so much damage from the fiends. There's a coil over there. Two in blue, they they retreat. The longer this game goes on, though, the better for Team Blue. With this expansion now, five base against four bases. And look at this. Look at this. More the teams killing a base, easy peasy. They kill the main, so the rest of the base will just follow. There's no one, uh, no way to defend it. They cannot TP in anymore, and they cannot. I mean. If it TP over here, it's already too late, so there's no reason to TP. This base here of Sock is gone. It's a gone base. But there was only 1k gold left in the gold mine anyway. So maybe it's not too important. Maybe Team Sock still have a chance. This uh, Abomination though, he's dead. He's fighting against the TC now. He's pretty dead. Okay, of course this base is next to mortar teams make it make a base race so much better here for team uh, Akatsuki They use dirty tactics with the mortar teams killing building so fast as you would expect from an evil 
uh, ninja clan. Their main is gone. It already mined out actually. Everyone else mined out as well. Reprisal still has a little bit of gold. They lose the Mulos as well, so it's going to be hard to defend here. It looks like look at the blue army, twice as big as the red army. Sure, a nice impil. Sure, uh, you know, the Death Knight dies. Sure, Team Red. What can they do? Team Sock. They can't do shit. They're just dying. Some more Huntresses. This looks like a GG, guys. TC is back, by the way, for Shereen. The Pit Lord almost dies. The Focus loses his TC, but he will come back. No problem with the uh, reincarnation. His TC gets ensnared. TC is back. Level 7 even. Wow. That means level 3 aura. Shockwave. Uh, Lich here is almost dead. Holy Light kills it. Do we see a GG? Do we see a GG here by team Gorani? There it is. GG. GG.